everybody. Today I'm going to review the brand new Ryobi Phoneworks model ES2000 infrared thermometer. Now what this is is a tool that's going to work right with your cell phone. You clamp it on the back and plug it in. Then you open the Ryobi Phoneworks app and it's going to control this. Now unlike a standard infrared thermometer where you'll just aim it at something, pull the trigger and then it's going to give you a temperature reading, this is going to give you a live temperature reading. You're going to control everything through your cell phone. And the best part is, is you can turn the camera on at the same time. So what that's going to do is give you a live screenshot. You're going to see the red dot on whatever you're aiming on. And then it's going to give you the actual temperature reading on something. So you can take screenshots of that or save it in a file. So that will allow you to keep an eye on something in case it becomes a problem. And also you can take that file, immediately text message it or email it to your contractor or your repairman. And they're going to tell you if it's something that needs to be fixed right away or if it's something that's normal. Now what's real nice about the Ryobi Phoneworks app is that it's free as long as you own these tools. You're going to plug them in, register them, and then they're good to go. The first step is going to be to connect the infrared thermometer to the bracket that's going to hold it onto the phone. Now on the back of this it may look like Velcro but it's actually something called a hook and loop system. So this is hard plastic on both sides. They do mesh together but you really need to be able to line them up correctly. So they have this raised green lip around here and there is a indentation on the bracket that that's going to fit into. So you line the two up and you can see just pressing them together it's not going to stick. You're going to need to line them up and then press it until you can hear a click. Now it's locked into place. So just holding onto the bracket you can see the thermometer is no longer going to go anywhere. Our next step is going to be to take our phone, place it against the bottom portion of the bracket and then the top portion of the bracket is actually going to lift up. So lifting up on this it's now going to lock in place and uh, we would be ready to go. But the final step is going to be to take the headphone cable plug that into your headphone jack on your phone because that's how the actual tool communicates with the phone. So now that I've plugged that in I'm going to open up my Ryobi Phoneworks app and it says headphone volume off so we need to turn that all the way up because that is how it communicates with it. If the volume's all the way up it does a lot better job. And uh, it automatically recognized it. Now we'll just press OK and it's a black screen. So the reason it's like this, the laser's not on and the camera is not on. First I would suggest turning the camera on. There's a little camera icon right here. Just press that. Your cell phone camera is going to come on. You can see my hand underneath of it. And then this red dot here is going to turn the laser on. So if we turn the laser on, now you can see where the laser's shining right here uh, is 70.7 degrees. But if I move my hand in front of it, it bumps up to 84 degrees. So it is an instant reading and if we notice over here it does take the current reading and then below that it's going to have your high and low temperature during this session. So that's a real quick and easy way to get this loaded. Now I'm going to do some different testing with this. Now it may seem like your heat pump or your central AC unit is not working correctly because it's a hot summer day and you just think that you need to put a service call in. So the guys will come out with their meters and check it and charge you $150 just to tell you there's nothing wrong. But if you had the Ryobi infrared thermometer, I can show you a real quick and easy way to see if it's working correctly. First we're going to turn the AC on and you're going to let it run for about five minutes. And then you're going to test the temperature in two different locations and you're going to get a very quick answer as to whether it's working correctly. The first thing we need to do is measure the temperature of the air that's going in the return line. So when we aim the laser at it, it's coming in at right about 69 degrees. Now we're going to go ahead and measure the temperature that's coming out of the vents to make sure there's at least a 12 degree difference. Now we just need to measure the air coming out of the vents in one of the bedrooms. So aiming our thermometer at the vent, we'll go ahead and turn the laser on. And the temperature coming out of the vent is about 50 to 51 degrees. So there's almost an 18 degree drop there which means our central AC unit is working perfectly. Okay, now I have everything set up on a tripod and I'm going to click OK and then turn the camera on and it's going to be aiming in the back of the freezer. Now when I turn the laser on we're going to get a temperature reading of 18.3 degrees. So what I'm going to do is zoom in on this now and you're going to be able to see it change as the temperature actually goes up because the door is open and then I'm going to hold my hand in front of it so you can see an extreme temperature change. So now we'll go ahead and zoom in on the screen 
because the camera's on the phone, you'll be able to see the freezer behind it. So you can see right now it's 19 degrees. It's slowly increasing because, like I said, the door is all the way open. But if I hold my hand in front of the laser, it bumps up to 74, 75. If I get a little closer, 77 degrees. If I move my hand, it goes right back down to the 19. So it is very instant and uh, accurate reading. And let's say we want to take a screenshot of this. This green button right here, we can go ahead and press that. It's going to take a screenshot, and then if we swipe it to the left, it's going to save it in the file. So it looks like a little filing cabinet down here. We'll click on that. It's going to bring up project number one. Project number one is the current project we're working on. We can click on the temperature, and up pops the screenshot of what we were working on. So no matter what you took a screenshot of that you were taking a temperature reading on, now you have a file that you can share via social media, an email, or even text it to somebody, and you'll be able to see if this is an accurate reading or if it's something that you would need to have fixed. Now if you have an infrared thermometer, you can take temperature readings on the caliper and the rotor to see if you have any problems with the brakes. So I'm going to use the Ryobi PhoneWorks app along with an infrared thermometer to take some temperature readings to see if we have a problem with this car. And you can see when we turn the screen on and shine the laser dot right on the rotor, it's coming in at 132 to 125 degrees. Now the real nice thing with this, if you move that laser around, it's going to take the low and the high temperature reading. So the low reading, which was 96.1, is probably where we hit the rim. And then the hot reading, which is 150.3, is the hottest portion of the rotor that it measured. So that's going to be very accurate and normal as far as uh, the reading on this goes. And this rotor and this caliper are in perfect working order. Now if that temperature was up above 200 degrees or maybe even closer to three or 400 degrees, that would be the wheel that would be locked up and we would need to fix it. So now you've seen the Ryobi PhoneWorks model ES2000 infrared thermometer for yourself. This thing works exceptionally well. I really like the fact that that app is free. It doesn't cost anything. There's no monthly subscriptions. And it's going to be able to keep track of the different projects you're working on very easily and very quickly. Now, a few other things I want to point out. This is available at the Home Depot and the Home Depot Online, and Ryobi offers a one-year warranty with it. It does measure Fahrenheit as well as Celsius. The little clamp on the back that's going to clamp on your phone is threaded for a tripod, so if you want to take a stationary reading of something or a continual reading, you can do that. And the clamp does clamp on there very well. Now, there is one thing that does take a little bit to get used to, and that is actually fastening the bracket to the back of the actual tool. Because it looks like Velcro, it's actually not. It's called a hook and loop system. And that is basically for alignment and strength. But you do not want to put the bracket on your phone and then install the tool. You want to install the tool onto the bracket before you do anything else. Because sometimes you do have to press on it kind of tight to get it to click. And you don't want to crack the screen on your cell phone. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.